So I uh, finally got the new gasket for the, the petcock on this tank. So let's install that. Here's the um, petcock. And this goes on like this. And here's the seal for the uh, fuel sending unit. Oh shoot. And now let me reposition the camera and we're ready to install this back into the into the um, bike. But before I do that, this I think goes here. So the tank just slides in from the back, um, which you already know if you watched the earlier video. But it's got to be positioned right. There's these rubber, round rubber things that the tank fits into to support it. And... Uh, there's supports right here, and then there's another one on the other side that keeps it from falling off. But that's it. Now I can put the, uh, I think I can put the voltage regulator on. Oh shoot, I lost one of these washers.
And there's a there's a nut missing here, which was missing when I took it apart. This is the other side of the bike. I forgot something real important that um, I was going to put on it at the, before I put the tank in here. But luckily, there's enough room. I can just do it from here. Uh, this tank is going to rust. Uh, it's an older tank. That's what older tanks do. Um, right now, I before I put the tank in, I lined it with um, some uh, motor oil. So. Uh, that has rust inhibitor in it, so that'll help prevent rust until I put gas in it. Um, there's two things you can combat rust with is keep your tank full, and um, but it's still going to happen. It's still going to attract water, and, and rust is going to get in there. But what you can do to keep rust out of your fuel system is uh, put a magnet on the bottom of your tank. Just make sure that the magnet isn't anywhere near the um, pickup tube or that screen mesh. And otherwise, it, the rust, if there's any rust in the tank, it will accumulate right there and, and may block the input or the, the, the tube where the gas goes out of. So I'm just going to put the magnet on the bottom here on the other side of that uh, pickup tube. And uh, that will help uh, control the, the rust. I think I'm going to start with the uh, battery cage next, and uh, that fits in here. The hard part is where do all these uh, things go? Um, this part, I believe, fits into this part of this cage. So I want to get that on before... Like that. And then uh, this thing goes in here. Like so. Um, and then I think this thing, this igniter piece fits Uh, um, I thought it fit up. up here I think it goes the other way Like that. And then this thing, um, fits right underneath that, uh, that, I, that last thing I just installed, that igniter. It fits right underneath it. There's a uh, rubber piece that stayed held into the gas tank when I took it off, and it slides into that piece. Oh, and this is the um, this is the uh, stop tail light stop tail light uh, box or circuitry.
And then this piece uh, fits right here. This piece fits on top. And that is everything, I believe. Now the wires from, I'm on the other side of the bike now. Um, these two wires fit into this uh, fuel sending unit. And the wires from the voltage regulator goes in here and along with these two. And this one, these two go together. And these two fit inside of this piece that fits to the... Um, rear fender. Let me reposition the camera. This uh, big like plastic bridge thing fits into the back of the fender and uh, those two pieces I showed you which earlier which is here and here fit inside um, this connector and this connector which uh, fit inside of the this plastic piece. So to connect them I got to make sure the wires are going through it. Now I should be ready to um, install the fender. I think I was wrong about that first con that first the first wires I connected. These two I, they also fit into that bridge, I believe. So I'm going to reposition them there and see what see if everything goes together easily. Now it should be ready. So now I'm uh, ready to, uh, I think I'm ready to install the uh, rear fender, which is this big plastic piece. The other day I was on uh, ridermagazine.com and I noticed they voted the, um, the uh, 2024 BMW GS 1300 uh, bike of the year. But to own that bike, you need uh, between 20,000 and $30,000 which is, you know, not everybody can afford that. So that led to me finding the, um, the cheapest, most powerful, not the cheapest, but the most powerful adventure bike under 10 grand. And I got that information from tossspeed.com and I uh, verified it with the Japanese manufacturers and it seems to be accurate. And that bike is the uh, 2024 
Honda Trans out, but it's only a dollar under 10 grand, so. But it qualifies, it's under 10 grand. And then, um, but I was looking at the, the Honda bikes, and if you're more interested in utility and you do a lot of city driving, I think uh, a bike that's better than both of those, even the BMW, would be the Honda NC750X. And that's because of the storage capacity it has right out of the box. And it's available, uh, it's fully automatic for um, city driving. And that kind of makes city driving much more pleasant than having to shift between stoplights, which can, if you're doing that every day, it doesn't sound like much, but it matters. So now I need to um, got to install this piece, this metal piece that goes underneath the bike or underneath the plastic fender. Let me move the camera. And it just fits underneath the big plastic one and the wires uh, fit right through here. fits there oh great And then, uh, I don't know if you can see in the two big bolts go inside here. And then another bolt on the other side, which I'm not going to uh, film. Then the tail light fits on the back here. And then uh, um, bolts in from the bottom, which I'm not going to record. And then the, um, I can't even see if you can see that what I'm looking at, but this holder here for the Connectors fits into the fits into the fender. I need to move this light. It just snaps into place. that now this piece with the uh, passenger peg foot peg fits here um, And then I'm not going to film tightening that up. I got this uh, hose back on the auxiliary tank. Um, there was a bolt that fits down here, little 10 millimeter bolt, put that back on. Um, I'm not going to install the rear wheel because 
uh, this video is getting too long and I'm not going to reinstall the gas tank, the main gas tank, because I have a feeling that these carburetors are going to have to come out and clean those. Uh, got this one bolt reinstalled back in the cage. This is ready for a new battery, which I have. I still need to uh, reinstall the fuel line, put new fuel filters on it. Um, got a new fuel filter over here too, and one for the line. Got a new uh, fuel pump if I need it. Uh, I'm hoping this one will still works, but I think it's shot. So not sure what I'm going to do next week um, for next week's video, but um, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.